instant gratification. You know, politically nobody nobody talks about five years from now. Nobody cares about that. Our attention span isn't that long anymore. They, they care about the, the six o'clock on Monday. <laughs> what will they think six o'clock on Monday? Other than beyond that, nobody's even thinking because it will all be swallowed up and superseded by another story. Um, look, I think from the very beginning of my post-cooking career, um, I think really if I had a mission, it was to, to not screw up. Um, it was to think about, look, after Kitchen Confidential, I was offered many things. Um, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life already. I, I, I knew what wasn't going to make me happy, you know? Um, you know, a sports car too young for me, you know? Um, you know, a, I don't know, a blonde actress girlfriend was was not good I knew that long term that was not going to make me happy um, you know I'd, I'd, I'd had enough cocaine um, <laughs> um, I, I started to think about this whatever offer this was coming my way might be intensely pleasurable now but and, and tomorrow it might be good for me but what about five years down the road um, I, 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 I think about that. Um, I'm, I'm willing to be a little more patient. Um, successes, will I be happy? Um, do I like the people I'm dealing with? Do, do I like having looked in the mirror, having woken up every morning for many, many years of my life, if not most of my life, and looked in the mirror and seen somebody who I didn't particularly admire, and in fact, somebody who I was, you know, often somebody who was ashamed of the things that he'd just done, or did the day before, or the week before, or the years before. Um, you know, I try to feel good about tomorrow, about the decisions I made today. Um, I live in business by something I call the no asshole rule. And I think it's an important one. I actually like everybody I do business with, okay? I like the people I work with in publishing. I like my agent. Um, I like everybody I deal with in my television show I work with. Uh, it, that's important. Uh, I think about when I'm having a meeting with somebody who's offering me a lot of money to do something, along with other considerations, um, vanity being one of them. You know, will I be embarrassed by this? You know, do I want to be the tidy bowl representative or Anthony Bourdain for Imodium? Um, <laughs> I'm Anthony Bourdain, I'm on the road 250 days a year. And a lot of that time I'm shitting like a mink. <laughs> um, no, I don't want to be that guy. Um, a lot of the time I'm thinking, the phone's going to ring at 11 o'clock at night. Do I want it to be this guy on the other end? Am I going to be like, oh, damn, when I see caller ID, I'm like, oh, jeez. I don't have those conversations. And I've had meetings. I went in with Chris and Lydia, my partners from, uh, uh, from Zero Point Zero, who've been producing my shows for since the very beginning. I've been working with the same creative team. We went to this one meeting in LA, of course, and a guy offered us a TV show and a deal to come in that would have made us all spectacularly like Bond villain wealthy, you know, you know, helipad wealthy, <laughs> um, you know, big international show with you know board game iterations and licensing and all the rest. And we came out of the meeting. We all stood silently after, but the meeting went fantastically well. And we're standing there in the parking lot afterwards. We all looked at each other, and the phone rings 11 o'clock at night. Do you want it to be that asshole? And we're like, no, wait, that <laughs> that's that. So, are you happy? It's the same thing I ask of the people who, that I care about when making the show. It's not about will people like it? Will the maximum, are we going to kill in our demo? Um, it's are we having fun? Are we having fun, all of us together in this enterprise? Are we doing the best work we can or the weirdest, most interesting work? Are we pushing ourselves? Are we interested in what we're doing? Are we having good, a good time? And when we wake up tomorrow and look in the bathroom mirror, are we gonna see somebody who did their best yesterday? 
that's that's it. What else could you? Uh, certainly there's a lot of talk around this week. Do you think about that? Do you do you try to process, okay, book publishing is supposedly on the ropes or digital media is, you know, a very strange business these days? I don't know. It's, 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 people have nothing else to write about, so they write it. It, it might be true this week, but, I mean, if everybody's... First of all, it's just not important. I mean, uh, I think there will always be stories. Um, I believe I'm romantic about I'm romantic about certain things. I don't really care what the market says, and I don't really care what the conventional is. There will always be a place, in my view, for a physical book, regardless of what people say. Okay, the the the, the smell and heft of a book. Um, I read at least half the books I read. In fact, I read a lot more books now because I can read them on Kindle. Okay, there are lots of books that I wouldn't buy physical copies of, because I, I travel a lot, I can't lug them around, and might not, for a lot of reasons. But I have no hesitation buying them and downloading them. Same with music. There's a lot of music I buy from my phone that I probably wouldn't buy a, a, in another format. Um, but increasingly, I mean, I'm, you know, just, I sold all my vinyl, but now I'm thinking about, you know, I'm gonna reconstitute my vinyl collection now. But it's, for, it's a completely different thing. Now it's for the satisfaction, you know, we, we experience these things in different ways. Um, I think books should exist, and that hopefully they always will exist. Whether or not they do is not something I think of, I think about it in an emotional way, I don't think about it in a business way. Um, I'm not like looking for, you know, uh, new paradigms of, uh, of, of storytelling for the 22nd century. I don't care, you know? Um, a good story is a good story. Um, how people have been talking about platforms for the show for years up in here and about you know we should move off, we should move away from you know traditional network and anticipate maybe do our own channel. I'm not that, I'm not that kind of deep thinker or visionary. I mean the, I like stories and I believe that you know that the that you know content is I believe in content. You make a good story, you make a good thing. Somebody's going to hopefully going to buy it, and somehow people will see it, it will find its own way. And if it doesn't, it, well, it just, that goes on the heap with a million other stories. Um, but if you can, I just, I don't think you should think about this thing. I don't think you should think about where, where will people be experiencing this story? Let other people figure that out.